I'm going to show you how to hide parameters from your family in the project. I have made a family, a simple family here, just a box. Sometimes when we are doing complex families with a lot of formulas on them and we have parameters for the visibility of the elements and so on, we end up having tons of parameters in the parameters window and all of these parameters in the family types window are going to appear on the family in the project. I'm going to show you something that is like a hack to the family just to not having some of the parameters visible in the project later. What we are going to do is to create those parameters. I'm going to start by one, let's say for the length It's going to be for now a type parameter. We will change it to instance later to show you that it will work either with type or instance parameters. I'm going to add this one to my family. Let's do it for instance 1500. And I'm going to do another one, but instead of being a family parameter, I'm going to do it a share parameter. I have to create a new one, so I need to new share parameter file. I'm going to create that one maybe here is sp for share parameters. It's just a, a new one. It's not going to be shared with anyone so it's not an issue. What is the name of this file? I'm going to create a new group. Let's call it for instance um, not visible parameters. Okay and I'm going to create this new parameter called width. This is a length parameter, everything is right here, okay, so we have created this width parameter but we are not going to apply it to our family yet. Let me cancel this and if I open the share parameters file that we have created right now I'm going to open it with Notepad++, it can be opened with the Notepad from Windows, that's not an issue. And I'm seeing here, this is the parameter file as it is, we can see that the second line is um, telling us that we don't have to edit this file manually, but as we are hackers doing this processing in Revit, we are going to edit this manually. We can see that in the seventh row we are going to find the headers of our table and as I was showing with this button here we can see that every word is separated by a tab. This is a tab, a tab and a tab and every parameter that we have made for instance this is a width parameter that we have made right now is following all these headers that we have here. So param for param, the grid is this big code with characters, name is width, data type is length, data category is nothing here. Take a look that we have two consecutive tabs here. The group is one and visible, that is the one that we are uh, going to change, is set to one right now. What we are going to do is to change this number to zero. This is a banner code, so one for true and zero for false. So zero is going to mean that this parameter is not going to be visible and where it is not going to be visible. When we put the family on a project we are not going to be able to see that parameter in the parameters window or panel in Revit. Let's save this file and now we can add this new parameter. We have to create a new parameter. This is going to be a search parameter, the width one. Okay, and okay. I can make it a thousand for instance and also we can apply formulas or whatever is needed. It will work the same as a regular parameter. So just click OK. 
let's make this length for instance and this is going to be the width great so now I'm loading this family in the project this is the project where I'm placing the family and I will be able to see in the edit type because those are type parameters I can see that the length but I cannot see the width because it's not visible so with this process we are going to hide some of the parameters that we are um, putting on our families from the end user I'm going to do the same with an instance parameter or just edit this one I'm going to change the width to be an instance parameter oh sorry width uh, edit instance parameter also the length maybe edit instance parameter okay and I'm going to load this in the project again override the system version and now when I click on the instance of the family I can see that I have the length on the parameters window here on these instance parameters but I don't have the width on those so if I modify this I can modify the length of the element I can also modify I can see the handles here so the snaps to modify the width of the family but I cannot see the width parameter in my family.